All right, guys, Georgia Jim. Uh, here we have the A cab set of picks from Moki Workshop. I wanted to do a separate review of these rather than include these into the dimple pick review because one, I feel like these are a supplement to dimple picking. These are not uh, picks that you'll you would use to pick something like a uh, a multi lock or an abus or things like that. These are more designed for a uh, high pin count lock where you have multiple rows, something like the the gold V18 or Kaba Gemini, things like that with three rows, or Kaba 20, Kaba Star, things like that with four rows. The Penta has five. Some of the crazier Kabas go up to six, seven, and eight rows of pins. And this is where these locks, these, I'm sorry, these picks excel. Um, <clears throat> a little backstory, uh, Moki is a black belt lock picker from Germany and he started making his own picks. He also makes hooks and things like that. So check out his, uh, website. I'll throw a link in the comments and pin it. Um, <clears throat> but he makes a uh, great stuff. These were, I know he credits Yabendi, uh, who is also a phenomenal lock picker, but, uh, Yabendi was using these it was using a, a similar design to these and they were uh he worked with moki to help make these picks there was an original more an older design from i think the guy's name was lock pick mexico or mexico lock sport or something like that and he was the first person to create these type of picks and uh more or less he his were double-ended where you had something about this size if i can get that to focus Something like that, and then the other side had the higher end, and he would use that, use the shorter sides to hit the side rows, and then the taller end for the uh, top pins, top diagonal, and the top. So that was pretty much the way they, uh, that guy's original design went. Moki took it a step further and added the lower, uh, lower size, uh, smaller pick, lower. It's the smaller, smallest of the set. And uh, this is extremely useful. Uh, this is the one I use the most for stuff like uh, Kaba Quattro, Kaba Expert, things like that. I use these high ones for stuff like uh, Gold V18, Grand V, the uh, Yushin Showa NX, things like that. Uh, those are kind of obscure locks for most people, which is, again, why I didn't want to include this set with the uh, uh, other Dimple Pick review. But uh, these are phenomenal picks uh, for those particular kind of locks. I don't care to use them as a flag. That's more personal preference on my part. Like for the side pins, I don't like using that. I prefer to just use these for the diagonal top rows where I can lever off like a hook. Uh, these really get a nice bite on the pins. They don't slip. Uh, feedback is very good. Uh, I'm just so used to picking with the... Uh, flags for the sides that uh i just don't uh get along with the feedback using it in, the, in that way but uh these are uh very nicely polished very nicely finished there's no rough edges he does include 3d printed scales with these uh and you just screw them in using the chicago screws but uh all in all these are very comfortable picks uh i was really really uh jonesing for these when they first he first announced that he was going to give the uh, start making these because uh, before that you pretty much had, just had to make your own. So, uh, and I st I suck at anything making picks and stuff like that. So, uh, I was really happy that he brought these out, and he's pretty much the only person uh, to get these from right now. There's no other manufacturer is making anything like this. Uh, no one else really pays attention or cares about high security stuff because it's so ne uh, such a niche uh, part of lock picking. But uh, that's where Moki uh, decided to take care of us, uh, hire security pickers. But uh, <clears throat> if you're looking to pick stuff like Kaba 8 with the three row, the Gemini, uh, Japanese dimple locks, like V18 and stuff, I won't say you have to have these. You can get by with a hook, but this makes life a lot easier. when You can use it as a flag if need be and also lever up onto your uh, get your top pins. And uh, these, uh, having that flat base, 
they work very well with uh where are they at something like the z bars having those on the bottom you have that in the bottom of the lock and it just slides nice and flat on top using that as a guide and just lets you pick but uh these are like i said these are fantastic picks uh these are the only Moki picks that I currently own, but uh, I definitely do want to get more and try out some of his other profiles. But uh, like I said, I just wanted to add this on. I didn't want to add the include these into the original video, but I definitely wanted to give these a shout out for uh, dimple pickers, uh, especially guys who are looking at the harder stuff. So that's it for the uh, Moki review. You guys have a good one.